thinking about the Browns at this time a year ago. Here's what we knew. The team was 0-16. We knew, better or worse, Hugh Jackson was returning as head coach. We knew John Dorsey had been on the job for about six weeks. We had no clue who he was going to draft as a quarterback. And did anybody even know the name Freddie Kitchens in Cleveland? I believe he wasn't hired until January 24th, and even after he was hired, it's like, so what? They hired a running back coach from the Arizona Cardinals and never been a coordinator before, just a, another guy passing through town. So, you know, so much has changed in that time. But there was one decision made that altered the entire landscape for the Browns and brought us to where we are right now, and that was on draft day when John Dorsey picked Baker Mayfield because without Baker Mayfield I doubt any of us are having any sort of discussion about Freddie Kitchens being a head coach or anything else. Baker Mayfield was, they always talk about a game changer. For this franchise he was because suddenly the Browns had a quarterback you know, right now is considered one of the best young quarterbacks in the NFL. But even to the extent of when John Dorsey had put his name on the choice of Baker Mayfield, when he's watching all the mess with Todd Haley and with Hugh Jackson, and he's seeing his quarterback sacked game after game. Remember, if you're John Dorsey, you really went out on a limb to take Mayfield. He was not the consensus pick at all in the draft. In fact, I went through all the top draft experts, you know, Mel Kuyper and these different people, other than Pro Football Focus, the analytics site, just about everybody else had Mayfield, probably the number three quarterback in the draft. Sam Darnold, number one, Josh Rosen possibly ahead of him. So he has said, you know, we've got to make sure Mayfield is put in a position to succeed. And that was one of the driving forces behind the midseason firing of Jackson and Haley was Baker Mayfield and his progress, or lack thereof. Dorsey pushed for it. They get fired. Greg Williams takes over as head coach. Suddenly, Freddie Kitchens, I remember we're sitting there after we heard Haley was fired, go, who is going to be the offensive coordinator? We couldn't come up with a name. And they rolled out Freddie Kitchens. And we said, well, that'll be interesting, I guess. And then, of course, fans know what happened. They finished the season 5-3 and three in those last eight games. Baker Mayfield becomes a top-10 quarterback in the NFL, if you just look at those last eight games. Suddenly, the Browns go to look for a coach, and guess what? Here's Freddie Kitchens. In fact, John Dorsey admitted at the press conference recently that, hey, Freddie was kind of one of the early leaders in the clubhouse when they were putting their list together right after the season was over, who's going to be, you know, the guys we're going to look at. Furthermore, and I think it was significant, you know, they opened with Greg Williams being the first interview, and I think, frankly, that was a token interview. They didn't want Greg Williams. They didn't view Greg Williams as a long-term answer. They viewed Greg Williams as a, a short-term fix guy. You know, I thought Williams kind of got whether it was here or somewhere else, it seems like he's just been dismissed for some very good work. But he was. And the last interview on the, the, the seven they set up was Freddie Kitchens, and I think there's a reason for that. They wanted to hear Freddie after they've heard everyone else. But it all goes back to the drafting of Baker Mayfield. The Browns had taken my guy, Josh Rosen, who had a terrible time in Arizona, or other draft experts like Sam Darnold, maybe not as bad as Rosen was, but certainly up and down. I don't think we're talking about Freddie Kitchens. I don't think we're talking about much of anything here. I think we're talking same old Browns. A young quarterback, not ready, gets beat up, a coaching changes, you know, starting over. Who knows who would be the coach? But for the Browns, the pick of Baker Mayfield and his rise changed everything.